zoom in or something. I told us. Yeah, so, but now we're leaving tomorrow, and we're like, well, okay, it would have been nice to have this week, but you know, now it's. It's one of those really long names. Just in your history. Oh, yeah. <laughs> yeah. yeah. <laughs> That is our last name. Gail Ford. G U I L F O R D. Yeah, I mean, you never just give me a casual name. Gail. Gail. I know. I know. Yeah. Oh, you think you were? I'm thinking Wallace. This is Kipper. I'm calling Wally. And you're Gil, G I L. <laughs> Smells good out here, something to us. You got her camera, you're gonna go get some buy one I guess real quick. That would be fun. Right around a big tricycle. On the day. <laughs> Mabel forgot her camera. She went to go get. You don't make it back. Look 
it's so clear. What kind of fish is that? What kind is that? Mac? Chris? You better ask the basketball player. You are quite right, Dale. I'm a dog. They got a limit for size motor around here. I'm sure. Yeah. That's why they're getting ready to outlaw them uh, jet skis because they're two cylinder engines, more pollution, I guess. Cycle, yeah. Cycle. Okay, so why don't we go back and get one? Oh, yeah. What was that called? Bob Ross. Okay. So, what do you get? I'm going to get it. Oh, I say don't film. Let's get that boat. Oh, what? The table down there? Why don't you go up? I don't know, honey. Up there. Alright, let's do it. I get ready with my job. What's happening again? Okay. Yes. Okay, I'm doing it. Yep, off two slopes. <laughs> Nevada and California side. Uh... It's gonna be wild there, watching them things go. Cool. It's like the old wind, but yeah. I'm fine looking in a while. Yeah. It's my first time too. Oh, actually, paddle boat or simulation paddle boat, water side. Okay. He <coughs> was. <laughs> I seen him. I seen him move. Last bottom one, like window or something. So it's so clear. Yeah, it's got to be at least 10 foot for this thing, I would think. Oh, Not enough. Every day. <laughs> <laughs> Where are we going? Okay, wow, well, you want to sit there? Well, I'd like to, I think it would The crew prepare for departure. <laughs> Take off. This is and welcome aboard the Tahoe Queen. My name is John Gallagher. I'll be your captain today. Brian is your maitre d' and we do have a variety of crew on board to assist you throughout your cruise. Now we're on our way to beautiful Emerald Bay and if you've never seen the bay before, well you're definitely in for a surprise. It is absolutely the most beautiful spot in all of Lake Tahoe. Now we'll also be viewing historic Vikings Home Castle architecture in the Western Hemisphere. But before we get underway, I would like to tell you about the safety devices that we have on board. For those of you folks located on the inside portion of the vessel, if you look above your heads on those oak lockers, that's where we store your life jackets there. 
And if you're up here with me on the third deck, right behind the captain's cabin in that large white box, is where we store our life jackets up here. Now, we've never had to use these devices before, but we would want you to know where their location is for your ease of mind. And at this time, a crew member on each deck will demonstrate just exactly how to don one of these life jackets. Okay, John, you're on. Do your thing. Around the back. The rabbit comes out of the hole. Goes back in the hole. <laughs> Uh -oh. Outstanding. Let's have a nice round of applause for John up here on the third deck for done that life jacket. By the way, folks, this is John's first deck. If you do smoke, we ask that you smoke only on the third deck. Smoke only on the stern. That's where the big red paddle wheels go round and round. We do have ashtrays back there for your convenience, and we ask that you smoke only in that area. Now, second rule is, is that nothing goes over the side. This is one of the purest and cleanest bodies of water in the entire world. And we as a community would like to keep it that way. So please, throw nothing over the side. We do have trash cans located throughout the vessel and we ask that you use those receptacles. Now third and final rule is sit back, relax, and enjoy your cruise. If there's anything that myself or any one of my staff can do to make it more pleasurable for you, all ashore going ashore. Silver dollar seventy five feet down. They fish like one hundred eighty feet down. You have to have a lot of, a lot of line. And he said it's a pretty good fight. Like that. I've seen this pretty big ones. You guys have all yeah. So Ray, you can come skiing. Man, go fishing.
gentlemen, I'm back with you. Uh, let me just start off by telling you a little bit about the vessel that you're cruising on. The Tahoe Queen, ladies and gentlemen, is an authentic Mississippi-style sternwheeler. Uh, she was built in La Crosse, Wisconsin by the La Crosse Riverboat Company. And she was 18 months in the building in La Crosse and shipped out to South Lake Tahoe in nine separate sections, all 268 tons of her. She is the largest paddle wheeler to ever cruise Lake Tahoe. She's 144 feet long, 33 feet wide. She made her maiden voyage of August of 1983. And the paddles at you, we have no props or propellers assisting us in any way, making us Lake Tahoe's only authentic Mississippi-style sternwheeler. Well, take a look over the side of the boat into the lake right now. to the upper left-hand corner of the lake is the west shore with Homewood, Emerald Bay where we're headed, and the very famous Maggie's Peaks. Watch our just off to the left of Peaks. Ah, uh, that mountain just to the left of Maggie's Peaks is quite a famous mountain. Even if you've never been to Lake Tahoe before, I'm sure you've seen that mountain well over a hundred times. All right. It was featured on the series Bonanza. If you recall the opening scene of the Bonanza,
its location on a map. From the top of what is now known as Kingsbury Drain. We couldn't come down and explore the lake because they had to get out of the Sierra Nevadas before winter came down and around the hill. We well, wanted to tell you some more facts and figures pertaining to this beautiful area. stuck in the door. That wind's pretty good, ain't it? There's a glass bottom in there. He is? Oh, God. Yeah. He lives on Gloria Drive. Or Gloria this man, Drive. Right down in Ethridge Meadows. That's his woods. Oh, yeah. yeah, he... I seen this... I seen he pulled out his room past some Harvey's. Did you stay in the Harvey's? And they got there a day late. They give him a free... They give him the best rooms upstairs. Their plane was delayed. They missed the day of skin. So we got lift tickets and everything. They didn't get lift tickets. That's where you're probably suggesting. I said, like, Great Bridge is Great Bridge, too. I said, like, I live like, out of Glenwood the first time from the right. And he's like... His wife's got the house. I'm heard the music. I said, we're going to California in our mind, right? <laughs> Must be, I suppose, some kind of fish. I hope it turns out good. I lightened it up a little bit, though. Uh, Joe, Renee, and Scott, Chris could have seen this, huh? He said he wanted to copy this film. He said, if I make it back, you got it. <laughs> Go Say what's my 
they do here, that's for sure. Exercising all day. <laughs> Big time. All day. It'd be good for you to exercise once in a, you know what I mean, like like this, like once a week. Oh yeah. A couple times a year, I think it's kind of. Yeah. <laughs> it's good to get away. I know that. I'll be glad when I get. I'll be glad when I retire and can afford to just live somewhere like this. For a while. Come for like a week or a month or something. <laughs> That's what we wanted to get like a. Is it still blue? Same color? Yeah. Five million years ago creating three main bodies of water here in the Tahoe Basin. Now the first glacier came down to the left-hand side of Montelac. And to the left-hand side of Montelac, you can see the valley that it carved out there. Now that glacier formed Fallen Leaf Lake. And Fallen Leaf Lake is a beautiful little alpine lake nestled just about three miles to the left-hand side of the vessel. Now the second of the three glaciers came down to the right-hand side of Montelac. And in between Maggie's left knee, that glacier formed Cass Lake, a little bit smaller than Fallen Leaf, but the waterfall that fills it is flowing at this time. Now the third and the largest Sorry, of the three glaciers came down to the right hand side it. of Maggie's right peak and formed Emerald Bay. All three glaciers were nearly identical, except for Emerald Bay's glacier. Because Emerald Bay's glacier did have enough force and momentum to come out and connect Emerald Bay with Lake Tahoe. How you doing? All right. Pretty out there, Andy. Oh, it's gorgeous.